Good morning. We are on the sidelines of the IPI Legal and Tax Summit 2009, and with me is Mr. B.K. Chaturvedi, Member Planning Commission. Welcome, sir. Uh, we'd like to ask Mr. Chaturvedi, sir, given your experience in the Planning Commission and indeed in the governance of India, where you spent a huge long-term innings within the states or in the centre, how do you view the latest developments in the power sector with regards to open access? from the prism of centre-state relations? Well, uh, I think uh, open access, first of all, under the law has been accepted by everyone. Uh, second, uh, under the tariff policy, uh, we have laid down uh, guidelines for this. Uh, there is, however, a reluctance on the part of the state government to implement it on one ground or the other. Uh, there is, of course, uh, a problem of shortages. They would like uh, any power which is available to be consumed within the state. So any generator which wants to send it outside, it uh, meets uh, difficulties. These are problems which uh, will gradually get sorted out as states uh, realize uh, that uh, the provisions of law and practice is good uh, for them in the long run. Uh, just because there is a temporary shortage, they cannot stop uh, um, the, the, the power being uh, transported. So we are hopeful that uh, in the uh, coming years, gradually over, uh, open access will get established and become increasingly a part of uh, our system. Sir, so, uh, gas is landing on India's coast at Andhra Pradesh. Now this is going to change the scenario where we'll be having more of gas and distributed gas-based generation. How do you see this uh, impacting the power sector? Well, gas which is landing uh, at uh, Andhra Pradesh coast, which is the KG Basin gas, and some more gas may come from ONGC or from the GSPC uh, once uh, their fields get developed, that's all right. But as of now, this is uh, justly adequate for the fertilizer sector and to power sector, uh, only I understand 18 MMS CMD has been given. So power sector will require more gas, we'll have to watch out how the gas development takes place in the coming uh, four or five years. And based on that, in case there is surplus gas, I think that will be really wonderful for the growth of the sector. So, uh, with regards to open access, uh, we now see that the CRC is adopting a much more stringent line, a much uh, more forceful line. They have even penalized a state government or a state government authority. Uh, do you do you think that this is the how exactly it should be done or are there better ways of actually uh, getting the state's government on board? I think it is important that uh, the central regulator and the state regulators go the whole hog in implementing the, the open access. Uh, there are uh, problems quite often with them, but uh, I think that this is a move in the right direction where the regulators uh, uh, do give a lot of importance to this and uh, enable uh, the, the, the open access uh, to come into to operation. I think this is a very move in the right direction. Great, sir. I know we may not be soothsayers, but what is your prediction for the next 10 years? Well, for the next 10 years, uh, I feel that uh, uh, we definitely will have uh, open access, no doubt about it. And I am sure that uh, the availability of power uh, would be far, far more and we would be in an in era which uh, we can say is uh, that the demand uh, would, be, uh, would be quite uh, adequate and the generation would just uh, match it and there will be no shortages. I think we are going in an era where uh, power generation is going to be in a very fine fettle.